I want to focus on the second session, is set up the environment. And um, to set up the environment, we have two steps. The first thing, we have to install Node.js. Uh, to install Node.js, we go to the website Node.js and we can download the, uh, the package to install for Mac OS or for Windows, depend on your system you use. And you can download the common version, version state, or uh, the version A is the current version. In this case, I download the version A. Okay, after download this package, I will install in my computer. Okay, we can install this, it's very easy. Install. Okay, now Node.js is where complete the successfully installed in your computer. And to check the version of Node.js, you can go to the terminal and type in Node version to check the version. And now we have on Jackie installed the version 8.4 for Node.js. Now we finish the first step. And the second step, we have to install Angular CLI. And the question is, what is Angular CLI? Uh, why we have to install the Angular CLI command line interface to that help you create project files performing variety of ongoing development tasks such as testing, bundling, and deployment. So we can use the Angular CRI um, to generate your Angular project, run your project in your local, and now we can install by this command. After we install Node.js, npm node packet manager you can do this command to install angular cli so we pass this command in this and install Okay, um, 
in this case, I get this errors uh, running the command against a use administrator. So I want to change the command like this. And we run it again. already install Angular CRI in your computer and now we can do the command ng to render your project and the next session we will create the new project new Angular project and uh, the first thing we uh, open the terminal again and we go to the folder that you want to contain the so curve and I choose this folder we cd to this folder okay and enter now we uh, stay, stay at the folder jmol project and now i want to create a new project uh, angular project in this folder and i type the command ng new my app here's my app is the name of your project and you can type any name you want and now uh, i type ng new uh, the name of project a project and enter and we can see that it is creating your new angular project uh, with the file like this and now it's installing the package for tune fire npm and we go to the folder and we can see that it create the project here and uh, we open inside it project you can see that it's create the basic config file for your project Okay, now project project successfully created, and the next thing we will run this project in your local host. And now at this moment, you needn't care uh, about the what are the file in this project, and we will examine it later. And now we run this project. The first we go to the project folder. Now we cd to the folder project and now we stay at the folder project and we load this project by command ng serve open this will open the local host automatically ng serve Okay, it's open the local house with post 4200. Okay, and that's the, the pay welcome to your application. Uh, it's uh, a default pay. And the next thing, we will explain the structure of the Angular project uh, that uh, we have already created. And uh, before to go to the Structure. I want to introduce some IDE uh, use and support style script. Um, you can use Blind Atom or Visual Studio. Uh, that's on support uh, style script. But in this uh, tutorial, I want you uh, to web storm. I do web storm because it creates smarter, powerful navigation and smarter completion. So I have already create, um, install WebStorm in my computer. Now we open the project I uh, uh, create this. Uh, 
click and open this project it loads in the project and now we will slam the structure the first file I want to introduce to you that's the PassKit translation and the purpose of this file is to clear the library for you and you can see that that is the clear the dependency is very similar to the the bom pom just xml pom in maven is clear the uh, angular library and another library for uh, your project and the next folder is no module the no module is a folder contain the library is downloaded from the internet when you declare in this packet job nation and the important folder is rc folder the in the folder is contain your soccer and you implement your function in this folder and the first file is going the um index.xml index.html in that slot file is uh, is just a normal html file but one thing is different in this element uproot uproot is uh, is uh, is uh, an element but the element we declare in the component apps component just this and you can uh, I, as I mentioned before, um, Angular 4 and Angular 2 use a uh, component to contain, to uh, manage your application. So component here is the app component. It's the main component to run your project. And you can uh, declare another component if you want. For example, you want to do the function login and you can declare the file login component as ds like this. And in this component, you the TypeScript to implement. So uh, you can learn more about the syntax of TypeScript. So I just uh, introduced something very simple here. Let's see the uh, declares the selector uproots and it's you in in that file. And the next is template you are referring to HTML file and style you are referring to CSS file. And we go to app component .xml. .html. It's just the it's normal HTML, but uh, you just view here and you. And now I modify the file for some way. Do more this slide, this slide, and I go to the browser. You can see it's it change the browser, change your page, and uh, you should know that Node.js is browser synchronized, so it's automatically uh, lower your page when you change anything in your project. So you need them to refresh or reload your page. And uh, now you can see that's the title with duple curly brace. That's it, the, the, the way the Angular binding the data. So you can learn about more about this later. But now I just introduce the title here. It's the variable able we declare in the class app component. And we can change this to hello world. Okay, that's on. And now we can come back to browser and it's changed to hello world to hello world. Okay, that's on about the introduce the first component. I hope that this video will help you understand the overview about Angular framework and how I know how to set up the environment to start with Angular 4 and you can learn the syntax of TypeScript and Angular to do what you love. Thank you for watching.